The issue of fluctuations in heart rate has been a major concern to me anytime time Many a times, a patient records slower heart rates and sometimes faster. They become so frightened immediately they are told that their heart rate was way high or slower, wanting to know what causes that fluctuations. Some of them have the urge to know how they can personally check their heart rate on their own. As a way of keeping an eye on their heart rate. Pulse or heart rate can be measured with stethoscope. However, this has become an issue to keep an eye on your heart rate because it takes an expert to always monitor it for you. This means one has to always be at the hospital for this checkup. Meanwhile, manually, we can just check our heart rates in the comfort of our homes using a simple procedure. This video places more emphasis on this procedure. The rate at which your heart beats should be of major concern to you as an individual. As far as your heart rate does not coordinate with the normal range, which is 60 to 100 beats per minute, then there is a serious problem which needs medical attention. An individual having higher heart rate, known as tachycardia, stands the chance of getting stroke. In a similar way, having a lower heart rate than normal, known as bradycardia, puts you in a greater health risk or danger. Hence, they need to always keep an eye on our heart rates. My name is Thomas and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be opening your mind on how manually you can check your heart rates. This has become an important thing to talk about just because just as we find it very important to keep an eye on our blood pressure, we equally have to keep an eye on our heart rates just because if our heart rate goes beyond the normal range then it means there is a serious problem which can also put you in danger so we equally have to keep an eye on our pulse rate keeping an eye on our pulse rate has become an issue because we only have the opportunity to see our heart rate at the hospital especially when we have our bp checked for us but we don't have an idea that manually we can also check our heart rates on our own which would also give us the chance to always check that any time of the day to be able to keep an eye on our heart rate before i commence the procedure let me put some record that we have areas on our body where we can feel the heartbeat or the contraction of the heart and these areas are being referred to as pulse sites if i'm to mention some of them we have the radial pulse we have the brachial pulse carotid pulse popliteal pulse femoral pulse we have the posterior tibia pulse and we also have dorsalis pedis pulse so these are areas you can feel the contraction of the heart and they correspond to a particular artery which carries blood from the heart so now let's start the procedure so to start the procedure make sure you've located a particular pulse site in this case we are going to use the radial pulse which is found at the anterior part of the wrist just close to the radial styloid process and so make sure you've also set your one minute duration have your time closer to you i mean your stopwatch So the pulse has started reading and so what we have to note is that you don't have to put much focus on the stopwatch but rather listen to the beat from the pulse site and count as much as you hear the beat. You can only stop when the time you set has stopped and you find your watch beeping. After that 
you then have to note the number of beats you had within that one minute and that represents your heart rate or your pulse rate counted in the one minute duration Eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five.